In the personality disorder section in the DSM-4, which is the current edition, there are four completely discrete personality disorders, and they're thought of almost like diseases. So there's sets of symptoms um, which quantify whether or not a person has a disorder or not. Personality just doesn't work that way. It's not the case that you either have a certain personality or not. Um, and so one thing that happens is many times if a person has one personality disorder, they're also likely to have several others. The trouble is people really only have one personality, not multiple kinds of personality disorder. It only assesses pathology, right? Mm -hmm. And because it's categorical, basically what that implies is if you have a personality disorder, you have a personality, and if you don't, then you don't. It doesn't seem like the personality disorder taxonomy or diagnostic manual is mapping onto nature very well. What would be nice is if uh, the di diagnostic manual also assessed normal functioning that's relevant to personality and also um, potentially even adaptive strengths. We uh, assessed people's personality traits as well as their personality disorder symptoms um, in order to try to find a better structure for categorizing personality related problems. The first thing that we found which was important was that if you just add up all of the different symptoms of personality disorder as one single number, that single number tends to be strongly predictive of other things like how well people are doing in terms of their functioning. It tells us the overall severity of a person's problems. The proposed model for the DSM-5 has a very similar scale which is rated on five points. Um, so five would be this person has very severe personality problems in general. One would be this person's personality is healthy. The second step, uh, we tried to identify any stylistic elements of personality disorders which were in those symptoms independent of this global severity um, dimension. And what we found is five dimensions in the personality disorder symptoms that don't connote um, how severe a person's overall personality is, but rather the flavor or style of their pathological expression. Where the first dimension might tell us, do we hospitalize or treat as an outpatient? Uh, the second one might tell us, do we use this particular kind of pharmacology or that kind? Do we use this particular kind of psychotherapy or that kind? The third one, normal personality traits which are relevant for every person regardless of what diagnosis they might have. Normal personality is relevant for every person regardless of whether they have a personality disorder or important personality pathology. For example, um, if a person is depressed without a personality disorder, it still might be important for clinicians to know something about their personality, how extroverted versus introverted they are, for example. Well, the personality disorder model that we're arguing for is a more valid representation, that is, separating overall severity from stylistic elements is a more valid representation of how personality pathology works. Mm -hmm.